Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here and today I have my March How to Kill a Kit with Style and I cannot believe I'm saying that it's March already but here is my kit and I have a lot here um, to show you. I am focusing on 8.5 by 11 and that is simply because um, I did a whole bunch of printing of digital files and that is what I'm going to use for my pattern paper for this month for the most part. Um, I'm not going to show you embellishments and things like that. I am going to try to use a lot of the printables that I've already printed or just any of the embellishments I have in my stash. And so as I do my layouts, I will kind of show you what it is that I pulled for embellishing. But I did want to show you the paper and I do have obviously like this top page some um, embellishments that I will fussy cut for my pages as well that I printed from the collections. I didn't print the entire collections of any of these but I printed a good portion of some of them um, and so I'm going to show you really quick what I'm going to use. To this I will obviously add white paper or some other 12 by 12 sized pattern paper because obviously these are eight and a half by 11. I do have a 12 by 12 format printer so I could have printed it on 12 by 12 but I decided to go with eight and a half by 11 just simply because I have a lot more of that sized paper than I do 12 by 12 so I figured I would use up some of that paper in my printer and get some of these fun digital print uh, cut print digital prints uh, printed out so I can put them on pages. So this first collection is from Tracy Reed. This is, I want to say, The Love List, I believe is what this one was called. And I apologize, I may not know the names exactly. Um, let me see if I can pull them up if I get, if I can. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this one was The Love List from Tracy Reed. And so this first page I have, uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have the print or the um, print and cut files. So I have the florals and then I have all of the little word bits and tags and all these different little embellishment pieces. And then I have some labels and some, I guess, what you could use for titling or just other embellishments. So I have that. And then from the actual collection, I have this sort of scalloped design. It might be hard to see on camera, but it is a yellow. Then I have a plaid. I have this beautiful wood grain rainbow. This is sort of like a chevron pattern. I have a floral with a yellow in the background. Then I have this blue plaid. Here is the hearts. And I definitely think some of these will get fussy cut. Um, I'll probably use some of this paper as embellishment. Then I have this pink plaid. I have the black and white floral. I have the pattern painted stripes with all, with all the colors that are in the collection. Here is a geometric in that blue and she has some splatters on this as well. Here is a black and white heart with a little bit of pink splatter and then a white background with a black heart and again a little bit of pink splatter in the corners. Here is the floral paper. So if I run out of florals, I can always use this and fussy cut more florals if I need to. And then what I did is I have some 12 or eight and a half by 11 uh, pattern paper in my stash that a couple of years back, um, I think it was Michael's had pattern pack papers from some of American crafts designers like Dear Lizzie and Amy Tan and Maggie Holmes. I pulled out the Maggie Holmes and the Amy Tan and I paired them up with each of the collections. So I have a few pieces. This is not, this is just a blue polka dot um, and it's thinner paper, but I had this in a 12 or eight and a half by 11 size. So I pulled that in because it definitely matched. And then I have these few pattern papers, again, that I pulled in from that designer 
um, eight and a half by 11 paper pad or not paper pad, but stack that they had. So these all kind of coordinated. So I threw those in to go with that particular collection. So that is my first collection. This second one is again, Tracy Reed. And this one here is Time to Thrive, I think or filled with intention. I am not 100% sure, to be honest. Let's see if I can... No, this is Time to Thrive. So I have um, this from the printables. I don't think I did any other pages from this one. So I do have this, so there is that. And I have a whole bunch of stuff on my desk, so I have no room. And then I have the painted striped rainbow. I love these papers. They are so beautiful. Then I have the floral. Again, it's beautiful and bright and fun. Then I have this blue, really sort of painted on dot. Then I have a blue plaid. And then I have a green geometric circle pattern and another floral. So really fun. Here is a green with like a little leaf pattern. And then I have a notebook piece of pattern paper. Here is this one kind of, they are kind of, I think, mimicking rainbows for sure, but just with one color. So there's that one and then a yellow plaid, and then the hearts in all of the colors in the collection, so really pretty. Then I have the orange with the hearts, and here is the scallop paper with all the colors, very pretty. And then for this one, I also pulled in a few papers here. So I have the jars, I have this floral, I have this yellow, I have a navy stripe, I have a polka dot. Now obviously I'm not going to use these all together, but um, I do think that the colors go and so if I need to add in some different pattern, I pulled a few of those. Next up I have the one of the new ones from um, Scrap and Happy Studio. This was one of the digital collections. So here are some of the cut aparts and the floral paper I wanted to use to be able to cut out for embellishing with florals. So I sized it down two different sizes so that I can cut those apart. This is what it looks like normally. So then I sized it down, which is the huge advantage of digital files. I can size these down. So if I want my embellishments to be smaller, I can go ahead and do that. Same with these, I sized all of these down. So now I have plenty of embellishments that I can use with this collection. So there is one of the papers. And then this is the stripe. And then the pink polka dot. Here is the diagonal stripe. And this, I did get a little bit of water, so um, some of the color ran and then I have the blue polka dot and then the green these are from these are what I've added now those were all from the kit itself so then I have this green polka dot I have some camera paper and then this chevron a pink sort of geometric pattern this geometric pattern these are definitely dear Lizzie I have frames and tickets and is there another one there? Yep. And then I have this little floral. So all of the colors go really well with that collection. So I've added them in. I wouldn't use them necessarily all together, but I also have the chevron paper and then one more floral that I pulled in. So definitely all kind of play together from the color wheel, same color wheel. So 
that is the third collection. Here is the fourth. This is again from that Scrap and Happy Studios. So this is the boy collection. So I did size down the embellishments. So I'll be able to cut these out. And then from the papers, I have the circles. I have the stars here. I have the stripes and the geometric. This is like a burnt, not a burnt orange, but like a brick red kind of color. Then I have this burnt orange with the polka dots and then the green or teal colored chevron. I have the arrow paper and then adding to this, I have some wood grain and then some polka dot. I have this heart paper, which is like a craft, and then the uh, pie chart paper, which kind of have a lot of the same colors. This one pulls in some of that blue. That's a bit different, um, but with some of the others, like the oranges and things like that, I can definitely use that. Another piece of the wood grain, I have this cream icon paper, and then I have a green plaid and a brown stripe. So that is sort of my fourth collection. <laughs> so like a lot of paper this month, but I am hoping to play along with 30 Days of Sketches. So um, I'll have lots to play with for sure. This one here is from Crate Paper and it is from a very old, oh gosh, how many years ago? This would be a couple of years for sure. Um, Summer Lights, I think it was. So, uh, I think it was Crate Paper who came out with that collection. Um, and so this was a piece of the wood grain that was in that collection. And then it had this beautiful kind of cloudy sky and water paper, but great for a background. Then the polka dot and some clouds. Then this ombre sort of pink pattern paper and then this beautiful I want to say it almost reminds me of alcohol ink colored paper um, but it's sort of a mixed media background and then this watercolored stripe and the purple geometric and then to that I have added in so this one here I don't have cut apart um, die cuts or anything like that for this one so I will just pull in things from my stash so I pulled in to this collection as well this floral these hearts these colored stripes uh, a piece of that floral and again this um, chevron paper this I have in another one of my collections there's a second piece of that floral I have this pink and then I have some watercolored florals, one in black and white, one in a multicolor, and then a piece of that green chevron. So I have pulled those in to potentially put with that collection. And then last but not least, this is Chamel's, um, which one was this? Chamel's field trip, I think. This is field trip. And so I have the insect paper, which I could use on its own or I could use and fussy cut all of the bugs so I have this one I have this one didn't print correctly <laughs> but that's okay I have the library cards here is the colorful stripe and another piece of the uh, rainbow pattern paper with all of the lines and to it, I think that's all I ended up printing from that particular collection. And then I added to it this cloud paper, this sort of geometric pink, this geometric pink tone on tone, a yellow and a green plaid, a sort of orangey red kind of floral pattern a yellow tone on tone well actually this is from the collection so this is yellow or not yellow 
that is not yellow that is pink and it sort of just has little um, lines um, so it's kind of like a striped paper I don't know how well it shows up on camera then this is also from the collection and it is the blue and it has like little triangles or almost like little mountains and then I also have this from the collection which is all the bugs with the leaves and then yeah this is definitely from the collection this is the um, dinosaur pattern paper and then again I added a couple of sheets I have the cameras the icons and then two pieces of watercolor these I will probably fussy cut um, and then I have this watercolored paper as well so plenty to choose from like I said I will be bringing in 12 by 12 sized paper for my backgrounds so be on the lookout for that as well as the embellishments that I pull in with these pattern papers for my kit this month but I am definitely trying to focus on digital files since that is what I'm starting to buy more and more of so that again I can print them in the sizes that I want um, and use those to scrapbook as opposed to spending and buying like the whole collection in uh, physical product I can print them myself so with that I am going to end my kit share and I will catch you on the next one and we'll see what we can put together this month so have a great day everybody bye bye